In this video, I'll talk a little bit about changing strings. This is something we have to do as guitarists relatively frequently. There will come a time when these bass strings don't really have the full sound quality and richness that they once had. They'll start to sound a little dead. So we'll be listening for that, and that'll be a time to change the bass strings. These treble strings up here, the nylon strings, they may lose a bit of their sound too. Also, when we play these strings, we're using our fingernails on these nylon strings. They'll just start to get a little bit scratched up from all the nail use on those strings. It's a little hard to get a good clean sound at that point, so we'll need to change these treble strings. So I'll change the bass strings first. I'll change out this sixth string right now. The strings again are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, with six being the lowest sounding and the first being the highest sounding. If I'm changing the sixth string, I want to take a moment to be sure that I'm using the sixth string from my new pack. They are labeled, and it's good to just pay attention to the labels to make sure you are putting the right string in the right place. When I'm changing the string, first I'll just tune it down really low so there's tons of slack. With enough slack in the string, I'll just be able to undo the loop here take it out. I will now unwrap my sixth string right here, take off that label. Where the label is, is usually the end of the string uh, that is nice and tightly wound. There's often another end that's a little bit less tightly wound, a little slinkier. We don't want to use that on the bridge over here. We're going to use that on the other end. So this nice, sturdy, tightly wound end goes into the bridge. I'm going to take this end of the string here, wrap it around this length, like so, creating a bit of a horseshoe, and then I will point the end of the string into the loop created and against the outside of the bridge here. holding it in place with my finger while I pull it taut with the left hand. So there's your loop on the bridge. Now we're looking at the headstock over here, and I'm going to take this other end of the string, feed it into the hole in the tuning peg. It's helpful if the tuning peg hole is facing toward you. I'm then going to take the end of the string, feed it back through towards me here. Hold it here. I'm going to do a similar thing to what I was doing at the other end on the bridge. I'm going to make a bit of a horseshoe come around and under this length of string here, and then pass it back down. Pull it tight. So while holding the end of the string here, I'm going to tune it, the sixth string here. Now the tuning peg hole, where the string is coming out, will start moving away from me. And when it's about out of sight, on the other end here, I'm going to tug one more time on this end of the string, which is going to lock this string in place right here. So now that I'm holding it tight, I can keep tuning. Changing the treble strings will work a lot like changing the bass strings. I have a little knot here that I need to undo, so I've given myself a lot of slack. I've, I've tuned the second string very low. I'll just push this bit of string through the bridge here. Give myself a little more slack. I can lift the end of the string here to start untying the knot. So we'll work that around. And now I'm changing the second string. So again, I want to be sure I'm using a new second string. I will take the end of the second string thread it through the bridge. And now when changing the bass strings, 
we made a horseshoe by taking the length of string over here and coming around this way toward ourselves under the longer length of string underneath and this way we're going to go the opposite way with the with the treble strings we get one extra wind in when we're making the knot and that's going to be helpful to keep these in place so we take the length of string in the right hand pass it underneath going away from you to make the horseshoe so then that's going to pass back around and then instead of threading it under and being done with it we are going to pass that string length over and then over again it's going to come over this length of string over we'll hold it against the bridge and then maybe help it along if one piece of that string gets caught go. and pull it tight against the bridge so that's the knot on the treble strings now that I have a fresh set of strings on, I'd like to play just the opening of the Via Lobos Prelude Number 1 to show you the before and after the string change, what it sounds like with a fresh set of strings on versus what it sounds like with my probably two-month-old set of strings. 